Uh, let's do it. That was my second cup of coffee today, so hopefully it'll make it more fun for you to watch my dumpster fire of a video. Hope everyone's doing really well. Thanks for coming back. If you subscribe, it's really cool. I don't know why you do it, but I appreciate that you do because that's just how I am. I appreciate you. So thanks again. Um, if you've never seen me before, hi, I'm Mitchell. As you, if you couldn't tell by the death metal looking logo, it's SB Mitch at the beginning of the video. That's me. I collect sneakers, mostly SBs, because I have no concept of value. I'm just kidding, I told you. Um, I got a lot for you today. On top of a Soul Supremacy Beater Box and a Soul Supremacy eBay on auction unboxing, I have this box right here. So right now, Saucony is releasing sneakers from a line they're calling the Originators Only. And they're just they're doing sneaker collaborations with pretty well-known YouTube and social media sneaker people. So uh, I saw one that was getting released that was right up my alley. And I said on Twitter, you know, I have to get it. The box is a little beat up. But I have to get it because I saw the colorway and I was like, wow, those are dope. So these are, if you don't follow them, oh, if you don't follow them on Twitter or Instagram, it's at Sneaker Shouts. These are called Portuguese Gold. These are really nice in hand. I do not own a pair of Saucony, so I do now, but the suede is really nice on here. Everything, the materials are just really nice. Yeah, go on uh, Twitter. Yeah, it says Sneaker Shouts X Saucony on there. So they have another round going up on Friday and uh, Mr. Fomer Simpson's pair is in there. So I will be trying to get those, but these were released to 100 pairs and I was lucky enough to get the Sneaker Shouts Saucony Originators Only pair in my size 11 and a half. So shout out to S Sneaker Shouts. Follow them on Twitter for really good deals. And uh, these are just a really cool shoe and I'm very excited. So, so there's those, very, very pumped on those. Those will be going straight to feed. I don't think there's gonna be a resale market on those. I really hope they don't because I, they've only released 100 pairs. So if you got them, you better be putting them on your feet. So uh, here's the box, the first box, uh, second box. Second box, first from Soul Supremacy. They did eBay, eBay last week. If you, don't got, if you guys don't know what Soul Supremacy is, it's a shop in the Bay Area. They do beater boxes, but they also do eBay auctions. And they start all their auctions at 99 cents plus $15 shipping. I got a pair of Ooh, Jordan 1's in my size, size 11. I've been wanting these for a while. These are called Clover. These are dead stock too. And I got them for way under market price. Uh, let's just say market right now is about 225. But these are really, really cool. I mean, lace bag's still attached on these. So that's really cool. So a little bit of a deal here on Soul Supremacy eBay auctions. But check them out. They do it like once every two weeks. And it's totally worth it. Because you can find some really nice, really nice sneakers for way under retail or market price. Which I did. So here's the beater box. This beater box was $850 plus $40 shipping, so a total of $890. I only got one this week, slumming it. I had some mixed boxes the previous weeks. Uh, I don't really know what to say about the last run of boxes. They were okay. So upon inspection, every shoe has a box in here, so that's good. It looks like there's a KD in here, which I'm gonna get out of the way right away. Um, this is a KD7 Christmas. These are not dead stock. These are slightly worn, but it says 35 fluid ounces of eggnog. That's a lot of eggnog. You puke if you drink that. But yeah, these are these are in really solid shape. They just need to clean. The bottom is the only thing that's dirty on them. But yeah, these are really, really, really nice. Size 11 and a half, KD7 Christmas. First shoe out of the way. And uh, as always, these shoes will always, always be for sale. My prices pretty much reflect a little bit under market, but shipping for me is $15 regardless, unless you live in California. Shipping is a little bit... A little bit high. So here is the size 11 Air Jordan Retro 3 Flip. I have like four pairs of these already. These are the black ones, good, because I have tons of the red, uh, the white one. These are not dead stock, but these are in really, really good shape. I mean, you can see you know, like basically no star loss on the sole, but Jumpman is fully intact in there. These look to be barely worn. There's no cracking on the midsole. Yeah, there's no cracking on the midsole either. These are in really, really nice shape. A little bit of toe box creasing, hardly any. But these are a good size too, size 11. Jordan 3 flip the black ones. So cool, pretty happy with that so far. Let's keep it going. Got another Jordan. This is a Air Jordan 10 Retro. These are the steel or chrome or something like that. But here's these, they have a tag on them that says $300. I am not selling these for $300. These are not dead stock. 
Hard to see, but the jump man's fully intact in there. The bottoms are really clean. These are, yeah, these are just barely worn. Really nice pair, size 10 and a half. And these are from 2005. So these are an old shoe that have barely been worn. So that's really cool. So size 10 and a half, I want to say steel, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to look them up with like 10s. Those are really cool. The box is in really good shape too. So after that, here's a red Nike box. What's in here, baby? This is an Air Force 180, size 11. Probably some kind of uh, Olympic colorway. These are not dead stock, but the size sticker is still in there. I don't know if you can see it, but just need a cleaning on the bottom. So really nice. 180 Air. Other shoes in good shape. Yeah, no cracking or nothing. Sweet, size 11, Air Force 180. Probably some Olympic color. Neat. All right, so we got three more in here. Uh, let's grab this one. This is size 14, Air Jordan 3 Retro DB. Dorn Becker. And these are dead stock. Yeah, these are dead stock. I have the same pair. Not dead stock, but these are a dead stock pair. That's cool. Dornbeckers always bring in the bucks. So this is a really nice shoe. I have another size 14 that's used. Lace bag's still attached and everything too. Cool. That's a good shoe. That might have been the money shoe. We'll see. Two more in here. This is a size 11 Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. Not dead stock. Really close though. So I don't exactly know what these are called. I should, but I've never gotten these before. So, sue me. Jump man is sort of intact in there. Yeah, size 11, very gently worn. Really nice, I don't know what these are called, but they're white with red bottoms. Neat. And then last one, here's this gigantic Jordan box. Air Jordan 2011, size 11. This is Choose Your Flight. There's weird insole holders in here and a dust bag. These are not dead stock. Wow, that's a big box for no, no payoff. I don't know anything about these. These are from 2011, obviously, because they say 2011. I can read, um, but yeah, here's these. Don't know, think them, don't know anything about them, so. Size 11, about an eight out of 10 condition. Just need to be cleaned up. Looks like they wore them on a baseball field or something like that. Well, the Dornbecker was definitely the money the money shoe in here. I don't know what these, these things are. Seems like an unnecessary box, but. So good haul, I guess. Let's give this box a grade, shall we? Before I get into the box on, so you guys have it. I am SB Mitch, so it would make more sense. I just got these yesterday from Shoesium. I'm very excited. I've been looking for these for a really long time. Thomas Campbell dunks. Don't call them what thes because they're not a what the. Okay, anyway, let's let's grade this box. So when I get this box a grade, it's based on condition and based on hype slash value because a shoe with hype has value and vice versa. We have these 2011, these 11 lows, the Dornbeckers in dead stock condition. These Air Force 180s, these uh, 10s, these flips, KDs. So one dead stock shoe, yeah. There's one dead stock shoe in this entire box. This is just based on purely on condition. Condition, D minus. When there's one dead stock shoe in a seven sh uh, sneaker beater box, that's not that's not a good sign. However, the, good, the dead stock shoe is the Dornbecker, so that's good. But still overall, D minus. As far as hype slash value, the value is all in those Dornbeckers, I would assume. These slips have a good, good amount of value. Elevens, I don't know those specific ones, but 11s always have value. And these are all 10 and a half, 11 and a half, 11, 11, 11, 11, 14. Aside from the 14, these are all really good sizes. And sizes do come into, into account when you're, when you're judging something based on value. So overall value on this, I have to give it about a, about a C plus. I should be able to break even. Um, I could be surprised and these Katie Christmases could be with more. So I don't know. With the grade of D minus for condition and the grade of C plus for hype slash value, this means this box gets a grade of C minus. Not great, not bad. So this $850 Soul Supremacy Peter box gets a grade of C minus in the SB Mitch report. So there you have it. I'm really excited about those Saucony's, so you guys need to check them out. Uh, real quick, before I do my routine thing, uh, check out my eBay right now. I'm gonna put my eBay link on the bottom right here. There's a lot of stuff going on. I put up 43 shoes. There's a pair of Yeezys on there for retail plus shipping, or at least I think the last time I checked they're at $405, the 750 triple blacks, which definitely is not what market value is on. So check all those out. Some dead stock shoes, some pre-owned shoes. See anything on there? Happy bidding. If not, that's cool. Check it out anyway. Uh, subscribers, thank you for coming back. Uh, you guys are amazing. The outpour of positivity is, is really, really nice to see because there's not much positivity going on in the world right now. I'm not going to get political. If you took the time to watch this video, if you subscribe or if you don't subscribe, thank you. I really appreciate it. You could have been doing so many other things with your time and 
you chose to do this and I really, really genuinely appreciate it. So thank you again. I'll have another video for you guys pretty soon. Um, there is a giveaway coming up and it's going to require a little bit of work, but there will be a giveaway. So that's all I got for you today. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Remember, there's just shoes. Just things go on your feet. There's so much in the world today that needs more attention than what's on people's feet. Pay attention to your loved ones. Pay attention to your fellow man or woman. Pay attention to your community. Pay attention to your neighbor. Just look out for each other because there's a lot of people that want to do a lot of people harm and I don't want to hear or see anyone get hurt. I'm going to end it there before I go off. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Bye!